Hey guys, Chase with Semi Pros Garage here, um, and I wanted to make a quick little video for you guys to show you how to set up Scramble on your boosted application with an MS3 Pro Gen 1 Evo or Ultimate ECU. So this is something that I got a couple questions on. Um, you know, some people didn't even know that it was a thing that you could use. Others knew about it but weren't quite sure how to set it up. So I want to go ahead and show you guys. Um, how to enable the table switching feature, which then uses a selected input that you designate to trigger, trigger a table switch, which will then go from your first uh, selected boost map to then targeting your second boost map. So first off, I'll say that my car uses a, a boost percentage time delay. So that is triggered when I release the trans brake button, which is a selected um, input that I have. Whenever I release that button, it then starts my time delay. So your scramble button will work in sequence, like it will coincide with that. But after your you know time delay is met, your scramble will then trump that. So um, I will show you guys, you will go into, I'll show you guys how to do that now. You'll go into your boost settings and on your boost control, the first one on that drop down menu, you will see a table switching loop feature, which is right here, right? Or excuse me, table switching feature. I have it selected as a loop and I showed you guys that on a different video um, that I'm using one of my inputs for both my um, bump button and my scramble. So, you know, you can set it up as a loop or you can just use a singular input on a button uh, a lot easier. So that is what I'm getting ready to show you now. If you're just using an input on a button, you would go in here and you would designate which input you're using. You know, you have your, your drop down here where you can select whatever input um, that you're going to be using for your trigger for your table switch. And once you've done that, and you have that, you have that right here enabled, I will show you guys my boost um, target table, which should be here. So, because I use a time delay percentage, um, it will allow the car to build a percentage of this number, which is obviously in KPA. I can't even remember what 391 is. It's probably like, I don't know, 30 something pounds of boost. Um, it will build a percentage of this. So basically I have my ECU and solenoids doing all the work. So it'll build a percentage of this until the time delay is met. Then it will target this number which is perfectly fine to just have your map set all as one number just like this. So that way you don't run into any complications. So this is my first target boost table. Now, when I grab the scramble button and I hit that input, which you have selected for your table switching, then you will be allowed to have a, this will be lit up for your boost control target table two. This will be what your target is on your scramble. Like when you're holding that scramble button. So when you do that, you can obviously see that, I don't think I have much of a difference, to be honest with you, maybe like a couple pounds of boost. Um, but you would set your secondary, your second boost control target higher than your first. So that way when you grab your scramble button, it is then targeting this table. So when you've gone in and you've selected, you know, you've done your... Um, right here where you've enabled your your boost switching here on this drop down right there and then you build your map and you do it whenever you grab that button it will then target your higher boost level so that is how you enable scramble on your ms3 pro gen 1 evo or ultimate so stay tuned for the engine build that will be our next video that we post currently that's being edited so wanted to show you guys that real quick and stay tuned